Alright guys, today I really wanted to talk about a project that's not really the typical game that I share on the channel and also not the typical game that I play, but this right here can definitely be an exception. Project TL has been announced in 2017 and just recently we've had its first sign of existence in so long, confirming it is indeed in deep development and also we have some kind of release date. I mean, just look at all of the details right here. This is absolutely crazy for this type of game, with all the AIs on screen, the massive battle, and so on. It's crazy. I love this so much. I really hope that after three years of almost complete silence, this game will still look like this, or be even better. So, Project TL is an upcoming intense open world MMORPG with what is said to be the most updated graphics of any game of the genre. Now, I have never played any MMORPG in my life beside World of Warcraft a couple of times at my friend's house, but this one project wants to bring an exception to people that are not interested in the genre. It won't be a full on MMORPG where only the regular players will know how to play or simply like it more, but something different. It was first meant for the audiences of South Korea, where the game is also being made, to the whole planet right now, as the interest has grown much more than anticipated. Project TL will be coming to both PC and consoles, and is currently scheduled to be released sometime in 2021, with a beta happening throughout the end of this year, which is where we should have brand new information about it and a new trailer, hopefully. Project TL was originally known as a sequel to a really popular and old MMORPG called Lineage. But since the interest in the West, aka America, went up, the game has completely been redesigned to be a brand new universe in the Lineage lore, hence why its new name has been recently revealed to be TL Origin. Lineage is known to be a game centered around a castle siege system that involved laying siege on settlements to owning and taxing properties aside from the usual RPG questing and such. The game is being built from the ground up on Unreal Engine 4, but since its presentation in 2017, plenty of new technologies have appeared like RTX and so on. Thus the game has been said to look even better than its initial reveal. At the very end of the reveal trailer, we are shown a large scale battle of a castle siege, and different players are being shown attacking and defending. When creating a character you will have the choice to choose your own faction, as we could call it, and these factions will have different motives depending on the players in this particular faction. Some will definitely want to attack other players though. Project TL is said to have a ton of unique different locations in its open world, each explorable on foot or by mount, either alone or with your friends. Some of the locations have been shown in the thriller, including a massive castle city beside the ocean, smaller and more dangerous villages, plenty of dungeons, and overall beautiful vistas to see. As with some MMORPG, Project TL will allow players to play alone and not always be beside someone else, but it'll definitely be a better experience with friends. The game will feature 5 playable classes to choose from, which players can customize to their liking, the face, armor and everything they like. Some of the races in the game are classes themselves, and each has its own unique set of abilities to complement a variety of playstyles. We have the sword and shield wielding knight, which will be the heavy class with a charge ability that can stun enemies upon impact. More abilities will be available like the grappling chain that can interact with objects in the surrounding environment, such as yanking down a pillar on a crowd of enemies, as well as a charge sword skill and a front facing barrier. This combination of skill sets can make for an aggressive offense or even defense. We also have the sorcerer type class that will be having his classic spell attack. There's also some kind of teleportation ability shown in the trailer which will help passing by obstacles and closing distances. In fact, all of the classes appear to have a dash move of sorts, making the already fast paced action even more crazy looking. Then there is the elemental attacks with fire, ice, wind and so on. The developers working on Project TL has also really put a huge emphasis on destructible environment in the open world, like the vegetation, whole buildings, walls, 
pillars, table, carts, and sometimes use them to your advantage against the many different enemies. It will be a first in any MMORPG that a game uses this much destruction, if they indeed are keeping this addition. The game would have been released years ago if they wouldn't have had problems with the team itself and its old engine. Project EL was originally known as Lineage Eternal when it was first announced in 2011, but was unfortunately met with a number of issues and delays throughout its development and closed beta. The developers made significant changes for this game by assigning a completely new team as well as shifting away from the proprietary engine that Eternal was built on and opted for the more powerful Unreal Engine 4, which is where Project TL is from. The game was completely rebooted and announced as Project TL in 2017. If you guys would like to hear more news about this game in the coming months, make sure you drop a like on this video as it also supports the channel and and subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to Rickno23, Themistocles, Pedro Oliveira and Jiggly Boy for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll support me and the channel as whole. Thanks for watching.